Welcome to Face to Face. This is a show about change and about what's next. It's a show that wants to ask questions, peel back the layers of our average everyday experience, and go beyond scratching the surface. We interview amazing people with incredible ideas and stories who have done wild, weird, and wonderful things. Remember that imagination shared create collaboration, and collaboration creates community, and community inspires social change. I'm David Peck, and this is Face to Face. So my next interview is with Yassine Ustagu about her new film, Claire Obscure. And it's a film that I think, again, most of the films that I've been uh, looking at and interviewing directors and producers and actors about at the film festival are important films. They're, they're films that need to be seen. And this is one of those. And it's a beautiful film. It's a relational film. It's a deeply human film. And, and Yassine and I talk about a lot. We talk about uh, political issues and sexual issues and their complexity and their nuance. And we talk about you know tradition and religion and, and that that whole uh, notion of patriarchy and power in in not only in Turkey uh, but 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 you know basically around uh, the world and notions of harsh modernism come to the surface and uh, you're going to enjoy this interview with Yasim and, and and you're going to enjoy the film so keep your eye out for it it's called Claire Obscure there's a link to the trailer on the site and again uh, davidpecklive.com and rabble.ca for more info about my speaking and my podcasting and uh, coming right up uh, an interview with Yasim Estuaglu the director of Claire Obscure well, welcome to Face to Face. We're joined by a very special guest today, Yasin Stuvalbu, uh, and she's here to. Uh, you heard the hesitation in my voice, and uh, uh, thanks for uh, coming and You're for right. joining me Pleasure. today. Yeah, uh, it's great to be with you. Um, the world premiere of your film, uh, Claire Obscure. Uh, it, we're here to talk about that, and I think about a few other things. Actually, we're mm-hmm. probably going to get into some of the issues. Tell us a tiny bit um, about the film. First of all, congratulations. And I wish you well with the film, and I hope uh, lots of people get to see this film. Um, and, and, and you said earlier that uh, about a three-year project to complete. More or less, yes. More or less. Writing, financing. And what, what is it? I mean, this is a challenging film on a variety of levels, um, and yet a film that needs to be seen. I read one reviewer who said that they felt that on the second and third viewing, there would be so much more to, to take from the film. Um, what draws you in? How do you say to yourself, I'm going to do a film about such a uh, difficult, difficult issue? Well, I follow my path always, what I do before, and it brings me the new path. Like I, when I finish my previous film, uh, somewhere in between, Araf, uh, or the name is like uh, Limbo. It was also dealing about the woman issue, about the underage woman who fall in love, living in a kind of um, traditional area, and, and then she follows her courage to really uh, go after her love, but then the whole environment uh, on her, around her brings a big catastrophe to her loving. Uh, so her, her decisions, basically, her choices yeah, lead well, to this catastrophe. Exactly. Yeah. So the, the, the place where she lives is sort of like, you know, like a limbo, has no future aspect for her. Uh, so um, there I really noticed a lot that um, the, the woman issue is um, really important to, to choose what you want, how, how you live. And on the low condition as well, psychologically and in the low, you can be uh, and with the old taboos, old traditions, right. some right. way, uh, the environment uh, leave you really uh, lonely. Well, your film is a really interesting. You know, I was interviewing uh, Oliver Lache yesterday. He's a Moroccan filmmaker, and he talked about tradition mm-hmm. and about how important it was and being able to stand on it. Your film kind of questions that notion to some degree, and you know that. That, that, that blend or that, um, I don't know, relationship between today and yesterday yes, and what it means for the future. Traditions. And so I, I, I wanted to talk more about yes. in this issue after uh, finishing Arab, 
more on the law and on the psychological issue, on the two different uh, type of women or society who comes both from the different classes and uh, environment and lifestyle. Especially one is really having a very chosen life. Right. Everything is chosen on her uh, on her uh, wishes. Right. Uh, love but uh, the other one is forced to live in this condition but still same, they both have similar struggles somehow it's you come seem, across. Is this film for you, is this film about women's issues in general, relationship issues in general? Is there, I mean to me there's a global application, right? We're all, we're all in this together, right? But, but clearly set in Turkey uh, where we both know that issues for women are very difficult and seem to be getting worse. It's not that easy. So if you look at the daily news, the violence is pretty high on the woman side. Uh, approaching to education, approaching to really choosing life, what you want to do, is still difficult in some way. And sexual issues is quite complicated. So it's a complex. Uh, there are a lot of women uh, having a big uh, issue into the marriage. Mm. Not only because of the underage, even the uh, adult people having a kind of a sexual issue, not only the abused, to have a really uh, loved by a husband or having a really uh, proper sexual life. Uh, but it's, I think it's also quite, uh, we can even talk about the, the, the like Shehna's life. So that she can have similarity as we Absolutely. can see. Yeah. But I think well, maybe this is also the world's issue. So to have really love, to have really empathy, to really uh, have a relation. It's, it's, uh, it's touched, it's really, uh, it's love to each other. Is, is this film for you about, about patriarchy? Is the story about oppression? I mean, it's about so many things. And it's a beautifully crafted film, by the way. Um, once you, once you start to see your work on screen, you must start to smile a little bit here and there and say, wow, I never actually really intentionally thought about that idea, and yet you see it sort of unfolding. And I think that's one of the wonderful things about art and about film are the layers. So for me, it was about power, it was about gender, it was about the male gaze, it was about love and relationships, so many things, so layered. For you, what, what would you say, well, Go ahead. I'm, I was going to ask the question, but I'll leave it there. How's that? Well, is that it's, it's a political film. It's a political film, yes. It is sort of political film. Uh, and it's also very human. Very it's much so. It's about the human uh, being. It's not only about the, being a woman. It's also a relation. It's about the male, the men problem. It's about narcissism, for instance. Right. When yes. you talk about narcissism there, yeah. I don't, I don't uh, I try to uh, blame the men. Uh, they are only patriarch and uh, abuse the woman on the modern side also. Uh, I don't, uh, I try to put all the characters is in, in like real, like uh, the husband of the young girl is quite nice person. I try to put in, in one level, they can be the, uh, the victims at the same, same right. time with all the conditions and traditions sure. or, or how the traditions can really uh, lose the value because in fact I'm not completely against the traditions. Okay. Traditions can be uh, really some uh, uh, value to, to Absolutely, really protect yeah, yeah. or to heal with the, all the centuries, all the timing, uh, experience. But when you, uh, when the society start to become a kind of like an unvalued condition, maybe with the immigrations, maybe very, with a very harsh uh, modernism, or uh, with all the cultural and educational policy, whatever, I mean, if it, the things start to be very harsh, very, uh, strongly change uh, like for instance I can name I can uh, t t tell that when you live in countryside 
the whole the conditions of the traditions might be interesting to heal you, but when you push to live in a modern, right. in a very quick time, very, you know, because Turkey is like the countryside, people are now really living in a big metropolis and they don't know and big. Well, it's a problem of problem of urban problem urbanization of all, everywhere, all the world, right? Yeah, like, absolutely. You know, yeah. Like Europe or the side, uh, people, you know, having a kind of immigration problem, and they cannot, know, they don't know what to do, how to be face to face. And the people who move there, they lose their moral de uh, values. Mm. This is one thing, hmm. Hmm. Uh, and they they struggle, and they still keep some sort of traditions, but they cannot handle uh, exactly to to be face to face. With the harshness and violence of the modernity. You said you said uh, unvalued conditions. Do you yeah. mean by that um, uh, an unwillingness or an inability to question tradition? Like, I mean, isn't that kind of one of the things you want to do with this film and this story? To say, sure, there's there's value to it, mm -hmm. but we need to we need to put it under the microscope. You know, somebody yeah. Diane Ackerman said that art was purpose of art is to shine light in the darkness and I think that to me is what I mean the title uh, what the film is kind of about on some level well, for instance now like with Elma's condition uh, let's say I mean if she was living in a kind of uh, countryside in a small village growing there taking care of you know the countryside life and you know maybe early age marriage I, I never ever push this but in, in old times, this, this might be interest, uh, still uh, not to, to kill her in a very, in early times, as I say, uh, in such a hard life. But now, when she lives in a city and uh, loses her uh, education chance and uh, to just uh, be far away from her own family, to be protected, now we, we, we can say it's the trust, the, it, it's, it, you feel like you are abandoned. Mm. This is uh, mm. what I, mm -hmm. how I feel alone. Describe, alone. Yeah, there's a, sen yeah, there's alone. a sense of loneliness and a sense yes. of uh, disconnectedness almost. Exactly. Uh, maybe I can... Uh, but I, I try to say something uh, in the unvalued, you know, when, when the things are changed from the own original condition and bring them to this place that you are not belongs. This is what I'm actually right, stretching. Right, right. The things become a kind of flat or uh, more... Um, it's not belongs there, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, know, yeah, it's yeah, for sure. For me. It becomes cute. You know, a, a cliche harsh. would be a fish out of water. Yes. You're in, you're in an environment honor, that's... For uh, instance, crimes becomes more harsh. Mm. Uh, the reason becomes more uh, in, in difficult for you, like a young girl goes out more, he has a mobile, wants to educate, and, but the main man can be, be much more angry, easily more angry if the girl has a mobile and having a little chat with someone. It can be the reason to kill her, for instance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. this, this happens many places. So it's interesting, I mean, the setting of the film Turkey. Was the film shot in Turkey? Yes, yeah. exactly. I mean, when you look at what the UN says about gender issues and the gender gap, it's really interesting. The World Economic Forum says that, I don't know, 45% of academics are women in Turkey, for instance. But when you start to look at the gender gap itself, Turkey doesn't fare too well on, on the, uh, uh, the gender analysis of, of about 140 countries. It, it lands at about 125 or 130 even. in. Do you think equality is is part of the answer for solving some of the issues in Turkey currently? Do you think gender equality, gender justice, the idea of... Uh, your president was quoted uh, in 2014 at a conference in Istanbul and he said, quote, men and women are not equal. It's against nature, close quote. Um, a lot of the world would disagree with that. <laughs> um, where, where do you sit on that from a, as, a, as a social from a social justice perspective? Um, I try to get exactly what is your point yes. now. Yes, so, Just, well, that, let's, your let's, film let's, is about gender issues, right? This is about empowerment and, and about patriarchy and it's about male oppression. Mm -hmm. And, and um, 
the abuse of women. I mean, there's so many things, right? I mean, never mind the, the love issues or trust or there's so many, there's the psychology of it, there's urbanizing, there's so many issues we could talk about. But from a gender, so many uh, development um, specialists would argue that if you solve the gender gap, you'll be able to solve other issues exactly. about violence, solve issues about HIV AIDS, sexual issues. If you can get women involved, the world's going to be a better place. And I think that that was kind of one of the messages I took exactly, from your film. Exactly. Now I, I'm you you with here. me now? Yeah. Yes, yeah, now yeah. yes this is a, it's, it's a big issue. Yes. Um, you know what? I, I would explain this in a, in a way like maybe it will be more clear. In Turkey still, and we are not trying to raise the kids, no matter woman or men, as a, it's like still adolescent country, you know, it's a kind of adolescent country. Interesting. That uh, we love to have a kind of power, patriarch power, mm. the father, the mm. government, mm. The, the power of something to, to really treat you, to really teach you what to do, how to do, how to choose your life. That's why the, I little bit mentioned the husband of the young woman is also a kind of a victim to be in this patriarchy which really uh, dominates everything. Right, right. And that kind of uh, domination doesn't let you to really grown up to feel like grown up to, to really and uh, give your own decision to be uh, to have your own autonomy your own analysis on your own lifestyle because then you can question everything and this is uh, I think Turkey has since long time a kind of uh, problem. So how, do, how does somebody like yourself as a filmmaker, as an artist, come out of that and stand on the other side of it and say, I'm going to make a film like this, Still I'm going this, to challenge there are, it? There are, uh, some, there are really good chances for us, uh, like me and many people well educated and choose their way still in such a, in such a system and choose our way. And, uh, so there is a freedom there. Your own choice. You have to struggle, but your sure. own choice, of course. Uh, I mean, you, 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 I mean, with this struggle, not all the time that easy, but you have this chance at the same time. Not probably as common as every for everyone. They can so the, in, there's a great scene in the film where where um, I think she's uh, looking through the window and sees her neighbor, her friend, dancing. Yeah. In, yeah. You can hear the music. She's yeah. got her headphones on, and and all this. There's this beautiful moment between. Yeah. You can see the affection between yeah, the two of them, exactly. and her surprise as well. Yeah. At wow, what is she doing? And it's almost like I wouldn't mind a little bit of so that you as can well. can see, you know, that, that there are differences in the lifestyle. But well, it's so interesting to me that they're neighbors, mm -hmm. and you've got the one living, so on the other side. It seems liberated and free and expressing herself, and yet this younger woman's so trapped, yeah. so alone. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. Still, within that, uh, some liberated people, and uh, they have chance, you know, that, uh, um, of course, it's a, not that small part, uh, uh, part of population, people can go to school. I'm talking about the whole system, the education right. system, right. the policy of culture and education also, why, how the, 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 the whole system really dominates, you, how you educate, what is, you know, the, uh, the education system. This is very patriarchal, uh, I think. Then, uh, the previous uh, subject, I also say that Turkey is a very moving country. It, it, many people move so easily, so quickly from their own uh, places where they live, where they Oh, you mean by, you mean geography, like yeah, moving from, oh, I see, okay, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, if you live in a, this this area with all your centuries, traditions, lifestyle, but all of a sudden it's empty, they they go to the big cities and it's harsh. The it's very, is disru very, very disruptive. Exactly. I mean, without a place to call home, right? I mean, this is, I mean, that to, to me also, it's a theme not only in, in your film, but I think of all the, a lot of the interviews I've I've done this week. That this sense of having a place to, to call home, 
where you can be yourself, where you can express yourself freely and so on is, is, uh, is something we all want, we clearly want, but we don't always yeah. get there. Exactly. And with, with this condition, you can manipulate, you can mm. control, you can mm. create how, what you want. And it, it, this is what I'm talking a little bit about. Is it clear what I try to Yeah, say? no, I, I think so. so. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that sense of power and dominance. And yeah. it's got a very, I mean, how, I mean, and as an artist, I mean, how do you, how do you break out of that, right? That, that for me is what, what fascinates me from a social change perspective. You know, how do you get your students, how do you get your children to think a different way? And I wonder, you know, your comment earlier about education and so on, I wonder to what degree your friends, your community, that sense of community that you had, you, you, you kind of fed off one another. That, you know, it's not that, uh, of course, where do you, you, get the you courage? shouldn't make it like, you know, we, there, we, of course there is a, I mean, the biggest part of, yeah, still people are able to educate go to school and it's a still secular country yeah, in some yeah, way sure and uh, with the, all the policies uh, especially the last period to really uh, kind of create a, uh, more uh, on the religion side or in the traditional side push the people uh, to get early age or the marriage uh, it doesn't have to be really early but on the marriage or the, put the woman on a kind of like uh, to have a more kids you know population is losing the uh, it's getting older and it's a sphere for the government or you know if the women are at home and just uh, having uh, birds it's easy to dominate such a society this is what the policy is all but it doesn't still mean all the society is having in this way of course there there are amazing uh, well educated well connected the whole world and raised up uh, people at the same time one of uh, uh, the, the the woman um, I don't know the actress's name who plays the psychiatrist uh, she mm -hmm. is at the, near the end of the film and in that really that serious moment of, of marital and relational conflict she looks at her husband and says when when will you really love me no, yeah. and for me that was you know for me that was kind of uh, a pivotal moment in the whole film um, I mean if we could if we could all figure out what it actually means to love others you know to love our children to love our wives our husbands our partners the people we work with wouldn't we be, love, wouldn't we be in a different place yeah not to love yourself first and then yes. to give it well, the rest, rest part. It's the narcissism. Right. I was just going to say back so, to your earlier comment about the narcissism, yeah. which comes through in Kem's character quite, <laughs> yeah. quite well. Yeah. It's all about me. Um, we're going to have to wrap it up here in a couple of minutes. Um, can I ask you one last question? How do you think, and this is a crazy question, when we're so, we live in a culture, I mean, I'm talking about the West now, I suppose, but I think it's global. Uh, it's easy to think about ourselves, mm -hmm. right? We don't need to spend any more time thinking about ourselves. How do we now start to get people thinking about others, about uh, my relationship to the world around me? It's a pretty, it's, I, I know there's no answer to that question, yeah. but I would love your thoughts. It's difficult to, to give this answer. I think that the system now, this whole capitalist system, the way of how we live, with all the instruments, with all, uh, I'm not against the technology and internet and the communication. I, I think it's really also so good to give it. Yeah, of course. Give it a chance to yeah. have a word so communication, but at the same time, in a right. way, I really feel like people get more selfish and more narcissistic. You know what it gives you? Is that in a way, you can be hidden and you can say what you want. Mm. You can be very well connected at the same time, but you can through the things what you want to say in a hidden way and right. then right. when you are uh, it's like there's no risk almost exactly yeah. and it really makes it, I think people are getting more and more selfish hmm. more with themselves more narcissistic at the same time I, not only the male the, the woman because I, the whole people is affected from that this is something and people sort of lost to the, the whole world sort of loss to, to really real touch, real empathy. Mm, yeah, empathy is... Empathy. Yeah. I think this is the, 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 the key Empathy thing. and the ability to listen. Exactly. This is 
is what we lost. Thank you uh, for your time today, Yassine. We're talking about her film, uh, Claire Obscure, uh, the world premiere here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Again, congratulations on the film, and, and thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate your generosity.